So here is my question. I always said I'd ask you given the chance. All right. First one, you were born in Mumbai. They don't have a First Amendment in India. Had you stayed and lived out your life in India, you wouldn't have been able to speak these truths through movies and all the speaking engagements you've had, right? So America was the shining city on the hill and 100% totally because we had a constitution based on liberty, life, and the pursuit of happiness, mostly the second one, liberty, well, the first one there, and not a caste system like in India or the British Empire. You came here legally and through the immigration system. New arrivals aren't doing that in the millions they don't have to vaccinate, don't have to earn a lifetime of income to get Social Security or Medicare. Okay, a lot. You did time for exercising what was the America's Americans' God-given right to free speech. Now your movie, Police State, shines the light on it on the big screen. What happened to this America where lawmakers and police authorities swear on a, an oath to the Constitution on a Bible where our First Amendment, Second Amendment, all of them are being infringed? Wow, that's <laughs> there's a lot there, and uh, I'll try just to zoom in and directly, uh, you know, answer the question, which is what happened to the America I came to, you know, a generation or two generations ago, and how did we end up uh, on the edge of a, uh, you know, the kind of repressive society that we never thought we would uh, become? I think the answer to that is that um, the uh, the constitutional arrangements that protect our freedoms uh, work because of a certain balance of power uh, between various elements in our society. In other words, what I'm saying is that a paper document cannot ultimately protect your rights because all you have to do to get beyond the Constitution is to ignore the document or interpret it in such a way that it doesn't mean what it explicitly says. Uh, just read it differently, so to speak, or claim that there are situational exceptions to the clear language of the document. And uh, so the founders really understood that our liberty doesn't come exclusively from enumerating freedoms, like, oh, you have a right to this, you have a right to that, um, that just doing that is not going to protect anybody's freedom. And uh, so I think what's happened in America is that We've sort of forgotten that. And one party, the left, uh, the Democrats, has become gangsterized, by which I mean it is willing to use brutal instruments of power against the other party. And the other party, instead of fighting back and fighting back in the same uh, language of power that is being used by the Democrats, the other party invokes the Constitution. Hey, I have a right to this, I have a right to that. And the left goes, well, you don't have any rights that the courts don't recognize. You don't have any rights that, uh, that you can enforce yourself. So merely quoting the Constitution, appealing to the Constitution is kind of useless when we are just going to do this to you uh, and you can recite the Constitution as we put you know, our foot on your throat.